before we start today's video I just want to take a minute and bring honor to a friend of mine oh god <laughs> I thought it was out of tears but I guess I'm not I lost a good good friend back in America he was one of well one of my best friends actually and he is no more and it's tough but I just want to honor him and it doesn't get any better as far as having a friend you were really like a perfect friend and I'm gonna miss you dude I wish you Sandra and Josiah and Sarah and Steven just all the strength that you guys need to get through this lost and the good thing is I know he will be waiting for us at the gates of heaven and his uncle told me that they used to joke uh, his uncle would say let the adventure begin and Jake would call out come on <laughs> so let's just do that well the coin pad is open because I found my first coin it's under my thumb but it's only half of it <laughs> oh. Probably they plowed this field once. It's just a tiny little shard of a coin basically. But anyway, the first coin of the day. So we're gonna dig on and see if we can find a, a whole one. And it would be very nice if it would be a nice looking one. But, you know, we'll have to wait and see. I just had a loud 55 signal that is low for a coin. And I just, you know, put the shovel in the ground, turn the ground upside down, and there it was, a coin. Not sure if it's a copper or, you know, maybe a silver one, that would be cool, because it's like the third or fourth hole that I dig today. But, um, well, let's investigate together, come on! There it is, it actually was just laying there. I'm guessing it's a copper coin. Yeah, it must be. Well, no detail at all. It's a bit bent as well. You know, kind of looks cool, but no detail, so <laughs> we'll have to look further. It's always fun to find a buckle or two. Well, it looks nice. <coughs> I was just thinking back in the days if you would be in the buckle business then you would be sorted for sure i mean it's incredible how many i see being found by other people on the internet and i find a fair amount of them as well so back in the days buckle business you would be sorted for sure <laughs> i'm on to a find a very cool find but i don't understand it 42 now that is low on the 80 max and it appears to be something really cool <laughs> let's move this one look at that i found a ring and it's heavy what can this be well Let's clean it up and check it out, check it out for marks. I'm not really sure it could be steel and steel or something. I don't know, but let's investigate. But that looks really, really cool. <laughs> Lucky me again. That is just strange to me. I'm guessing steel and steel. Inside of the ring looks terrible, basically. 
I don't know. <laughs> if it's still in steel, it's definitely not that old. I can't imagine it's silver because it would ring up really high and I mean, well, it would be crazy if it's white gold. And then it would not look this bad on the inside, I guess. But anyway, cool to find. Very close to the surface. Almost double tapping. It's actually in here. Uh, good signal, bad find. <laughs> well, it is old for sure. It's a square coin. I see some detail on it, but uh, not enough to be able to identify it. Straight line there, and some. I'm guessing this is the weapon side, but. 1600s for sure, but very unfortunate. I can't really identify it, which is too bad, but you know <laughs> That happens. Well, we're in a field where I dig everything anyway And I had another scrappy signal and I couldn't even find it at first But you know the pinpointer picked it up All the way down there I think there is a coin Probably gonna be a copper coin where we cannot see anything on it, but <laughs> that's just how the day goes basically, but you know, we'll get it out together. Really hope to get a bit of detail off, come on. There we have it. Well, unfortunately, it's terrible looking coins day. It's <laughs> <laughs> I cannot get my hands onto a decent coin, but just another slick one. Cannot identify it. Come on, let's dig some more holes. And another terrible looking one. <laughs> another job for the buckle man. <laughs> buckle number two. The pin is coming off basically. Oh, there it goes. It's almost gone, but. We've got the set complete. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's nice to find a buckle or two. Basically, the day is almost to an end. And I'm really hoping to be able, that I'm able to find at least one really nice old item. But so far, no luck yet. Let's just dig a couple of holes more and see if we can find something really cool and old. Well, possibly the find of the day in the hole, so <laughs> copper with some fancy on it, I think, but let's find out. Obviously it rang up really nice, it's not very deep, but uh, maybe I should pry it out. don't want to break it, whatever it is. There it comes. <laughs> what on earth is this? That is a very, very cool leather mount, I guess. Wow. <laughs> Looks a little bit like a butterfly. Well. <laughs> find of the day probably I would estimate it at least you know early 1800s maybe even 17 or 1600 I'm, I'm not really sure I think it's too solid still to be from the 1600s but very nice <laughs> terrible signal beautiful find look at that pretty thing. Goodness me. That has the wow factor. It's gonna be a lid probably from a toy. A toy cup or a toy. A toy something anyway. <laughs> but it's definitely very beautiful. Like I said, it was a terrible signal. But I'm so happy I dug it. Haha! <laughs> well, 
I'm guessing this is going to be the last signal of the day. Got a deep 85 signal, 83, 84, something like that. And, well, I'm going to set you up. Let's pry it out together, see what it is, and then we'll do the wrap up. Over there, now, could be a chunk of lead, obviously, but, oh, of course, I'm hoping for something better. Ooh. Gentle. Still there. Well, my camera was empty. <laughs> you can still see it was laying over there. It's a little bit white still from the lead. But um, I've got this big lead, well, weight, I guess. So not too bad for last signal. Our finds for today. Well, these are actually all the targets that I dug today. And, I mean, it's not a whole lot of junk though. Lots of bits and pieces of lead, some foil, some iron here and there, but it's not too bad anyway. I've got two big pieces, well, big weights probably, of lead and a seal, a lead seal. Two buckles and six, oh no, seven really, well, bad coins. <laughs> oh, not even one is dateable. This is a piece of a spoon and of course the curse of the pewter spoon parts. My ornated toy cup lid, whatever thing. And my beautiful leather mount and our mystery ring. Still not sure what it's made of or, well, if it's a very good find or just a, well, okay find. Well, still, I like it, so I guess it's a good find then. <laughs> so that was it. So that's it for today. A fun day of digging, some good finds. Thanks for watching and obviously I hope you will join me again on the next adventure. But for now, take care.